Russia is set up to assault Israel keeping in mind the end goal to help recoup the Golan Heights for Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Since 1967 when Israel caught the Golan Heights, Syria has communicated its assurance to take it back, and it now has the full help from Russian specialists. As per Wikipedia. Universally perceived as Syrian domain, the Golan Heights has been involved and controlled by Israel since 1967. However, the global group dismisses Israeli cases to title to the region and sees it as sovereign Syrian region. Oddnews.com reports, internationally perceived as Syrian region, the Golan Heights has been possessed and directed by Israel since 1967. In any case, the Universal Group dismisses Israeli cases to title to the domain and sees it as sovereign Syrian territory. So legally, the Golan Heights still has a place with Syria. Yet, rightly and scripturally, it has a place with Israel. Truly, indeed, there will be a battle about it. However, this time Russia will be included and sacred text will be satisfied. In any case, there is another contort to the circumstance. They discovered colossal oil stores in the Golan statues and this land has now turned out to be very profitable and Syria will need it back. The Syrian government has been losing a considerable measure of land to ISIS and the revolutionaries and now Russia has come into the photo to recover this land for Assad. Syria has practically been obliterated and it will take a great deal of cash to revamp the nation and the gigantic oil stores in the Golan Heights worth billions of dollars can truly assist. Syria is certainly going to need this back in light of the fact that legitimately as per the universal group it is theirs in any case. The issue is this, Israel wouldn't surrender the Golan Heights. After Russia and friends get ISIS out of Syria all Assad needs to do is say, while we are grinding away, how about we recover the Golan Heights moreover? Iran, Hezbollah, Sudan, Libya. Turkey and others would simply be chomping at the bits to help drive Israel out of the Golan Heights. Furthermore, the universal group that says it has a place with Syria, needs to back Syria in this. Doesn't seek useful for Israel. In any case, sacred writing will be satisfied and it will all go down as the Lord said it would. In the old confirmation sacred texts, the Golan Heights was known as Bashan. Presently for those on the off chance that you perusing this and you are new to the sacred writing, there is a prescience in Ezekiel parts 38 and 39 that informs us concerning this up and coming fight in the Golan Heights.